Turn the sound down. What? I said turn it down. Okay, dear. What are you both watching? I don't know. I just walked in myself. I've been watching it for a while, but I'm not sure what's going on. You came back from your Rotary Club meeting pretty early today. Yeah, I, I had to make arrangements to buy some more flags to distribute next month. I don't know why you guys bother. All you guys ever do is put up a bunch of damn flags. All your Rotarian buddies have done nothing but act as cheerleaders as our constitutional government has been destroyed. Look, I am tired of hearing all of this liberal hogwash from you. Don't you realize that we are at war? We have to stand behind our leaders in times like these. If we don't, the enemy will destroy our American way of life. Will you guys just quit for a bit? I'm tired of having all this bickering going on in my house. Dear, will you please change the channel? Is something wrong with the controller? I don't know. Let me see. Try again. Where's the button now? It doesn't seem to be working. This is weird. Wait a second. It is changing channels. Let me see. Yeah, look. The numbers on the channels are changing, but the same thing is on every channel. How can that be? Oh, yeah. yeah. I think that I remember reading about that in USA Today. Do you remember when Clear Channel took over all of the TV stations last year? Well, they didn't buy them all. There's still the All Hitler Channel and the 24-Hour Numismatic Channel. Well, well, yeah, yeah, that's right. But aside from those two, Clear Channel has taken over all of the airwaves. Yeah? Well, they realized that everyone was always complaining that with a hundred channels on the tube, but there was nothing to watch. Yeah? They realized they could just go ahead and put the same program on all the channels. As far as the viewers were concerned, no one would know the difference. But it would be a nice big saving of money for them. Oh, that makes sense. But, Dad... Don't you realize that the media has an obligation to the public? What would you have them do? Would you have the government tell them what kind of programming to do? We live in a free country and have a free and open marketplace. Clear Channel owns all the media because they are the most efficient and they give the people what they want. Is this show still going on? What's it all about? I think that I know what it's all about. It's all about desensitizing us to violence. What do you mean? Well, it's all connected with our wars in the Middle East. One of the reasons that support for the Vietnam War eroded was that there were daily images of death and destruction coming on on the TV. After a while, people got so disgusted that the war could no longer be sustained. So what are you saying? Well, even with the consolidation of the media, it isn't possible to completely eliminate images of death and destruction coming out of the Middle East. But by constantly bombarding the public with these alternative images of mayhem, it tends to desensitize the American public. Notice the juxtaposition of the dancing female form over these images. The subtextual message of the feminine nurturing form set against scenes of violence and mayhem has a mitigating effect upon the visceral emotional content of the images. Therefore, the administration has an easier time persuading the populace that the continued U.S. aggression in the Middle East in pursuit of its neo-imperial ambitions is an acceptable course of action. In other words, it is a subliminal tool by which the administration can actually engineer the present zeitgeist. What did she say? I don't know, but it sounds liberal to me, so I don't like Ugh, it. You guys are always embarrassing me. I've had enough. I'm going to the library. What's happening out there? Go check at the window. It's Eve. There's a police car out there. Wait, there's another unmarked black car out there. The police have Eve. Oh, Mark, do something. They're taking our daughter away. Look, the police are giving her to those guys in the black suits. Now, they're taking her away in that unmarked black car. Oh, no! <laughs> there's nothing we can do. I just guess this is just the price we have to pay as Americans so that we can remain free. 